another one of you showed up, because I'm in the mood to fight. Take it easy, miss. I've done nothing to you. Well, maybe you didn't, but your friends did, and you're going to pay for it. I haven't got time to argue with you. Who did this? I don't know, but I heard some of the men say they didn't want a newspaper in Loma County. And if I wasn't a woman, they'd hang me like that kid deputy. Are you a newspaper woman? Well, get on into Loma County, then. They need you. I'll pick up this trail from here. clean boarding house? Maybe. What's your business? Why, well, I'm a newspaper woman. I came here to open up an office. I'm not sure if Frino Frost will like that. Better ask him first. You boys get lost. I want to talk to kid private-like. I want to talk to you. Sure, kid. Come on over to my office. Who's the gal? Newspaper woman. Newspaper woman, eh? That spells trouble. She won't last long. Miss James? Yes. Oh, you must be Mr. Frost, the man who runs this town. I'm glad you get the picture so clearly. Now, if you'll just pack your things and go back to where you came from, I'm sure there'll be no trouble. Well, I wouldn't think of doing anything you didn't like, Mr. Frost. Is it all right if I pack tonight and leave early in the morning? You're a very nice girl. It'd be a shame to have your place of business dynamited. Like Mr. Harrison? Like Mr. Harrison. Didn't look to me like she scared none. She's scared all right. Now, if you'll go home and persuade your sister to sell her half of the ranch, we'll all have plenty of money. <laughs> now, we can hold out a little longer. I'm sure everything will be all right. I ain't worried about holding out. I'm worried about making out. Look, you and I have been sweating and slaving and fighting all our lives. And for what? A few lousy head of cattle. We ain't even got $10 between us. Let me show you something. Look at this guy. He's a common, everyday crook, but he's worth $500 for why. I'll tell you why. Because he's got $10,000. And a bunch of slow folks like us and that slow-moving brown we call a sheriff are jealous because they don't know where he got it. Jim, you don't mean what you're saying. I do mean what I'm saying. Look, you can stay in this forsaken place if you want to, but not me. I'm going to town. You promised me you'd stay away from Frost. He's no good. He don't want this ranch and cattle for nothing. Nothing? Nothing? You call $50,000 nothing? It's worth twice that much and be worth more if you'd help fix it up. Help? Help? I'm sick of the word. If I hear it again, I'll go out of my mind. No, look. You stay here. You fix fences. You nurse sick calves. Not me. I'm going to town. Please don't leave like this, Jim. You don't know what you're doing. Ranchers. <laughs> be lucky if you don't starve. Fixing fences, nursing sick calves. You must all be nuts.
you make out? Everything under control? You can safely say that's one marshal won't bother us anymore for a while. Maybe never. Just keep everybody off the Bascom Ranch and keep their cattle scattered. <laughs> With that shiftless Jim Bascom running the place, that'll be a cinch. Johnny. Paul Hal. Glad to see you. You look all fagged out. I am. What's the matter? I'm tired, Hal. I'm lonesome. I want to go home. My ranch needs me. My sister needs me. I'm going to turn in my badge, Hal. Well, I'm sorry to hear that, Johnny. I wish you wouldn't turn your badge in. Myself and all the boys cleared out of Washington. would be mighty proud to have you keep it. I'm sorry, Hal, but that's the way it's got to be. Well, before I let you go, Johnny, I think it's only fair that I show you this. Chief Marshal Brady, U.S. Marshal's office. Your office, my last chance for decent survival in Loma County. Bruno Frost gang terrorizing the whole country. Rose Bascom Ranch. Capable of 40 men, cut down to half a dozen. Her brother Jim is no good. I have a feeling he's associated with Frost gang. When did you get this? About a week ago. And you've already taken care of it? I sent one man. Only one man? At the time, it was all the men I had. You haven't got him anymore. Don't joke about that, Johnny. I don't think I could take it. I'm not joking now. Well, that's another good man gone. Just my boys training to be sheriffs. Come on, I'll show you how they're getting on. How many times am I going to have to tell you to shoot that gun like you point your finger? Now I'm going to show you one more time. Let it go. That's all the men you got, Hal? That's right. Big Red and Andy have got their hands full trying to train them. That's why I couldn't send Sheriff Brown anymore. Hi, Johnny. When did you get back? Boys, I want you to meet the man that you've been reading about. This is Ted, Pete, Slim, and Hank. Good bunch of boys, Johnny. Another year, me and Big Red will be retired, sitting around drawing our wages, and these boys will be doing the work. <laughs> uh-huh. What if they can't take it? To put a rough life for kids, you know. I've been telling you to watch them lives. You know, Hal, they tell me the bunch operating in Loma County is the biggest they ever saw. Take an army to do anything with them. How are we going to handle it? Well, from now on, I got all I can do to handle my ranch. Don't you care what happens in Loma County? Or to Rose? I did once. But I'd rather not talk about it. As I was saying, years ago, there was a girl by the name of Rose Bascom. Johnny thought the sun rose and set on her. Turned around and ran away with another man. Broke Johnny up quite a bit. He was in some kind of show business. Rose Bascom afterward became quite famous as a trick rope artist. You mean Johnny had a romance in his life he didn't tell us about? <laughs> That's not all. How come he didn't marry the girl? Well, it's not what you think. Rose had it bad. 
show business, that is. She afterward up and left him. Well, that was five or six years ago. I got some work to do. Hey, Ted, wouldn't you tell me something about that the book said when a man got iron gray he lost his punch or something? Well, I guess the book forgot to mention that Johnny Carpenter had more iron than gray. You're okay, kid. I'll have you a rematch with him in a couple of weeks. Oh, I know. From here on out, I'm on his side. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello, Rose. It's a lucky meeting, especially for me. I don't know what's on your mind, but you can be sure I'm not interested. Oh, you will be when you see this. you took advantage of Jim. Now, there's no use for us to fight. I've wanted to be your partner for a long time. In fact, I planned on marrying you. I'd like to send a personal message to Johnny Carpenter. I sent a wire three weeks ago. Expect help any day now. Sure you won't tell me what happened? No. It would only make matters worse. You're good to be home. You've been gone a long time, Johnny. You sure it's over? All over for good? Yep. I resigned just before I left the office. You resigned? What are you doing still wearing that badge? Oh, Brady told me to keep it for a souvenir or something. Talk has reached as far down, Johnny, that an old friend of yours is in trouble. Just how do you boys go about gathering this information? We resigned like you did, but for some sentimental reason, Brady wanted us to hang on to our badges, too. All right. But we got work to do here. I'm sure Rose Batcom can take care of herself. Not from what comes over the grapevine. They say Jim is helping to rustle cattle from his own sister. Been doing a lot of drinking and gambling, too. I can't believe it. She used to tell me about her younger brother. What a good kid he was. Anyway, we got work to do here. Let's get over the North Pass. We can't even stop the rustling on our own place. Yeah, we catch rustlers for every rancher in the country and get ourselves stole blind while doing it. Well, from now on, there's going to be some changes made, boys. I'm going to leave you here to take care of the ranch, and when I need you, I'll holler. Which reminds me, it's getting about supper time. Sis says last one in has to wash the dishes. Where are the boys? One group's taking the wagons. The other's saying that no marshal shows up. Listen, Freno, when do we take that Basco murder? Not for a while yet. We could run them cattle off easy. We only got three old galoots working for them. You touch those cattle before I give the word and it'll be the last job you'll pull around here. Oh, get mad, boss. I was only thinking. You're not paid to think. Get that horse shot and meet the boys. Take care of that wagon and don't leave any witnesses this time. All right, you snap it up. I ain't got all day. If you don't like the way I'm doing it, you can take your horse out of here. You're a smart alley. I didn't need you to shoe my horse at. Listen, Blackjack, just cause you can drive off cattle that belongs to women folks, no sign can tell me what to do. And while I'm in the mood to do a little talk, it let me tell you something else. If you're in free no frost and those other varmints don't leave Miss Bascom land and cattle alone, you're gonna get your tail in the ringer. And I'm just the one that can do it. I 
with him, Johnny. Why should I hire a gun that I'm on? Miss Rose, I know how you feel about Jim and everything. Just you wait. I'll bet anything I got to Johnny will come through for you. I hope so. Miss Rose? Yes? They're stealing our cattle again. Let's go, boy. you've been missing at the ranch. Uh-huh. Yeah, hunting them two-legged outlaws is team stuff to decide to breaking these four-legged ones. All right, you guys spread out. I want to see if I can get back in your good graces. Turn him loose, Tommy. Mind, kid. <laughs> Here's a letter for you, Johnny. This is Johnny Carpenter, dear Johnny. I know I have no right to ask you any favors, and I don't blame you if you turn me down. I can only say I'm shedding my pride to ask you for help. My kid brother, Jim, has become involved with a man by the name of Freno Frost, who I believe is the leader of the outlaw gang that is stealing us blind to say nothing of the killings. Frost has sent for a gunman by the name of Rod Tatum, a vicious killer. If this gang isn't stopped, we won't be able to hold out much longer. I sincerely hope you will help us. Rose Bascom. Tatum. Rod Tatum. Boys picked him up about 10 days ago. Got him in jail now. Well, what about these other fellas? Black Jack Ketchum, Red Rooks, and this fellow Frost. I never heard of him. Name means nothing to me. According to Ketchum's record, he's a notorious cutthroat. Big man, stands over six foot. Likes to beat people up before he shoots them. Yeah, nice fella. Red Rooks, typical gunman. Works for the most money. Well, tell me more about this fellow Frost. It's my guess, boss, that this Frost is one of the local boys there. Was branched off for bigger game hunting. Hmm? Well, now, what about Tatum? Well, there's one thing about him. He could sure cut a man up with a whip. Well, I guess I'm about the only marshal alive that can't take 30 men single-handed. So if you fellas haven't heard from me in a couple of days, you know what to do. Oh, by the way, can you tell me how old this Tatum fellow is and how he dresses? Well, Tatum's son was around 45 years old. Kind of a fancy dresser, though. Always wears a black hat, shirt, and black chaps. He's plenty tough, though. One outstanding thing about Tatum is he always rode a good-looking, fast black horse.
<laughs> What's the matter, boy? Scared of your own shadows? Ross, I'll kill you if you ever ride in like that again. You'll do what? Get rid of him. You're real handy when it comes to gunning down kids. But don't ever try it on me. Why should I fight with you, Rooks? We're pals. Hey, Pete. Are you sure you got that marshal the other day? Marshal? He was no marshal. We just knocked him off to keep from splitting with him. You said you got him, but you're not sure. You better go get some proof. That's what you get for sending a boy to do a man's job. Don't do it, men. Unless you're not afraid to get yourselves killed. Take it easy, Jim. I don't know these guys. How do I know I can trust them? They're all right. Put your guns away. Who's this character? Hold it, Ruth. Go sit down, Rooks. I want to talk to Jim. There's a lot about this setup I don't know. I don't care as long as I get my money. Relax, you'll get your money. I told you I own half the Bascom Ranch. I'll sell off the cattle and I'll pay you. You ain't interested in selling no cattle. I'm like Blackjack, all I want's my money. He don't know won't hurt him. I've got a feeling he knows too much already. Forget him. How about selling these Bascom cattle and getting our money? First, I gotta be sure we get rid of young Bascom. So what? You boys don't know it, but I'm trying to protect you. This had better be good. Sheriff Brown sent a wire to the marshal's office asking for help, and especially for Johnny Carpenter. So what? So the same day, I sent for a hired gun hand named Rod Tatum and sent young Bascom out to meet him. <laughs> Tatum? Why, Tatum, I'll cut him to pieces and feed him to the coyotes. <laughs> That's what I figured. Now, you boys get out to the ranch and keep those cattle scattered. Don't let any strangers in. I'd sure like to see his face when he uses the approach on Tatum I told him to. <laughs> sister named Rose, ain't you? You mention her name again and I'll kill you. Sorry, Jim. What do you say we get started?
You know what to do. Just take care of those two men passengers. I'll meet you back in town. Listen, Carlst. You just get up that money today and let us worry about these little jobs. these men leave town about an hour ago and I was worried about you. You talk too much, Brown. And for your information, I'm half owner of this ranch. I'd advise you to leave. I'll call you if you're needed. Is that right, Miss Rose? I'm afraid so. Somehow he got a bill of sale from Jim. Now he sent Jim to bring in a gunman named Rod Tatum. You're on private property, Brown. Move along. Brother Jim's in the same fix as you are. But if you're a good girl, you won't get hurt. And if he's careful, like Rod Tatum won't hurt him. You know, since I'm major stockholder in this ranch, I'm gonna watch every move you make.
Rod Tatum. This is Tatum? I doubt it. Oh. Any of you other boys doubt it? <laughs> Are you Fino Frost? Glad to meet you, Tatum. Likewise. I think you and I better have a little talk. I better get my horse tended to first. I'll talk to you later. Good. I don't set right with me. you been around here? Last five years, Johnny. Going straight? Ever since you got me out of that trouble in Waco. You want to prove it? Sure. Good. Get word to the boys back at the house. I'm in trouble. I'll do it. Shh. I think we're being watched. Good. Get word to them quick. Now, when I say I want my horse shot, I want him shot, and that's what I mean. I don't take no sign from nobody. Now, get to work. Well, so you're the great Rod Tatum. May I have an interview for my paper on how many people you expect to kill today? Oh, my favorite newspaper woman. You're the one. Look, if you'll just relax, I'll tell you what this is all about. Now, you get over to Sheriff Brown and tell him I want to see him. Ah, go on and peddle your papers before I paddle you. was pulled up 
up like a bunch of old women. We lost six men. Maybe we need a new boss. Are you telling me how to run this outfit? And another thing. You've been aching for a fight ever since you hit this camp. With all this trouble, the ranchers are pretty hard hit. So I plan to put a show on next week, and the proceeds can go to help these ranchers out. Yeah, the show's a good idea. Maybe by that time, I'll be able to help out. I figure I'll put my trained dog and bear and my sidekick here into it. Ted and the boys can furnish the music. Good. Well, I'd better be getting back now. But I tell you what, if you run into any trouble, get in touch with the blacksmith. He'll always know where to find me. Now, fellas, here's what I think we'd better do. Ted, you, Jake, and the boys be in town just ahead of the show. We'll work out the details there. Anybody see who shot him? What can I do to help, Sheriff? You stand by for a story, Miss James. Somebody's going to pay for this. newspaper woman anymore for a while. Maybe never. I mean about Tatum. You mean about which Tatum, don't you? Oh, don't kid with me, Blackjack. Meet Rod Tatum. The real Rod Tatum. Well, I gotta hand it to you, Blackjack. You wanna tackle this guy? He's plenty tough. You never know what a monkey's chewing till he spits. I'm 
laid eyes on you, I didn't like you none. Now it's a lot less. Go for your guns. 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 That's all I can hear is guns. What's the matter with your fists? You yellow or something? This is the end of your outlaw career. egotistical pup. Get up from there and go for your guns. For your information, I'm not Rod Tatum. I'm a long-standing friend of your sister's. And if you don't get to the ranch and help her out, I'm going to whip you every time I see you. here for, cowboy? Well, I'll tell you. People being so nice to me around here, figured I might just settle down. Maybe go to work with this here fellow Frost. I'm Frost. I don't know where you saddle tramps get such ideas. I'm a good cattleman. Besides, I'm a friend of Rod Tatum's. Tatum, eh? That's about the size of it. How about a place with you? Well... He was a friend of yours. He must have something on his mind. Rose Bascom is giving her show in about an hour. I don't want that show to be a success. Just how far do you want me to go? Just as far as you want to. See you later. What makes you so sure this man's the real Tatum? I sent one of the boys to the state pen to check on him. So? So I don't like other people trading on my name, that's why. I broke out of the joint to put a stop to it. I don't know whether you're lying or not. But there's a way to find out. The other Tatum just rode into town. You interested? Show him to me. There he is. Tatum up for the kill. That's right. This Tatum's the fastest man with a gun ever to hit the southwest. That'll prove who's the real Tatum. I've been looking for you. I got word that Frost suspects you as being Johnny Carpenter. Get out. Oh, get out of there. Johnny Carpenter. That's who they are. Satisfied? Sorry, Tatum. Yep, 
radio, I'm heading for the open. My heart sings wild a western song. Let me go up with my pals are open. It's round the time where I belong. Don't know why I ever left the prairie. Can't recall a happy day since then. All I do is dream about the old days. Very soon I'm heading back again. Yippee-o, I'm heading for the open. My heart sings wild a western song. Let me go out with my pals are open. It's round the time where I belong. pleasure to present to you the country's most famous rope act, a girl rancher, a neighbor of yours, and also the girl that has made the name Texas Rose famous all over the world. Ladies and gentlemen, Texas Rose! Two weeks. How do you get that way? I work fast, Black. Right. Get out of here. Let him alone. 
Blackjack's been looking for trouble for a long time. I think he found a man who can give him plenty of it. This guy is Johnny Carpenter, U.S. Marshal. Come on, boys. Let's get him. Johnny, this is what you've been looking for. This is it. This is an assay report on some silver croppings I found on your ranch. I'll leave Big Red here to work with Sheriff Brown until you get things straightened out. I'll see you later, boys. Uh... 